Hello, SE Law friends. Here's another segment of SE Law Tech Tips. Today we're going to explore that annoying upgrade issue from Exemplify. You know the one that says VM error? Let me just show you. Let's say you're going out there and you were told by ExamSoft to upgrade your Exemplify. Well, you just did that ran the upgrade install file. Upon restart, you're met with this error. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom. So what does that mean? It means that Exemplify is detecting that you have a virtual machine. So if you didn't do anything before, say like you ran it last semester and it was all fine, and now you're coming up with this error, then what you need to do is exit out of Exemplify first, check to see if you have a hypervisor running by typing in PowerShell on your Windows. You'll see PowerShell here, and you want to run it as administrator. Say yes. Then you want to do system info. Just type in S-Y-S-T-E-M-I-N-F-O dot E-X-E. Press Enter. Let it run a couple of things. Boom. There it is. It's detecting that. So if you've determined that you do have an hypervisor, then the next thing you want to do is turn off Windows features on and off like this. Let's open that guy. Go through. You see hypervisor right there. Expand it out. Uncheck it. Make sure everything's done. Click on OK. It's going to apply all the changes. and then it wants to restart. So upon restarting, you want to check to make sure Exemplify is working again. Let's check. Let's see if Exemplify is actually working now. It's thinking. What do you do in Exemplify? Still thinking. And again, we come up with the same error. So at this point, by just turning off the hypervisor feature is not enough. So I think we need to go into the BIOS. So exit out of Exemplify. And let's go back to PowerShell. Run an administrator. System info again. And it says, hypervisor has been detected. Features required for all hypervisor V displayed. So let's check. Make sure everything is gone. And it is. Even the virtual machine platform is done. So what you need to do is go into your BIOS, usually like on a Dell, it's like F12. So upon restart, you hit F12. And then you go into the BIOS setup. Under the BIOS setup, you'll see a virtual or virtualization platform section. And make sure you turn everything off. Make sure you exit and save the BIOS setup. And then Hopefully, it'll restart your Windows back into it. And then we check Exemplify again. Now, once you're logged back in from saving your newly edited BIOS settings, because you turned off the virtualization, you're back into your Windows desktop. Let's check to make sure that the firmware is actually saying that you don't have any virtualization. So you go to Windows PowerShell.
And it says right here, virtualization enabled in firmware is no. So I think we're good to go. Get out of it. And let's check Exemplify, see if this program actually starts up and not be confused this time. It's thinking. It's thinking. Let's go Exemplify. And there we are. You're back into your console and just make sure that you have the correct upgrade. Right now it's 2.4 as of 9-25-2020, but I'm sure that Exemplify is going to have a few more updates between now and your next exam. Want to get more information? Go out to our Law Help Desk site at lawhelpdesk.su.edu. Go to Law Technology site, which is law.su law tech or go out to our YouTube channel which is SEU law tech or subscribe to our Twitter feed which is SEU law techs